Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Ruin King Let's Play. So last time we finished the Crucible over here, which is really just um, arena battle. And we finished the whole thing, got rewarded, and it's time to go back to Fleet Street to the banker, Tuman, and return his loans so he can stay in business. There is still one chest in this Baron's Rest with the key that we don't know how to acquire. So perhaps we'll come back to it. Of course, we have to come back once we catch uh, the Veil Thief. But I believe his level is a little bit too high for us at the moment. Uh, we did rank up to level 17. I think everyone actually has ability point to spend, except for Pike. Um, so we might look into that very soon. But first, let's just get to Tumen first. I don't think there's any fighting along the way. And then we're going to head towards uh, the Burrogados. So that means we have a chance to perhaps switch some of the crew. I know I need Pike, I know I need Ilawi, but perhaps we don't have to bring Braum. So we're going to swap things out a little bit. We need Ilawi because we're going to the Boro area and then Pike for the sunken treasure in the Boro temple. We know those are set into- oh actually, this is Fleet Street. I need to go that- Wait, how do I go that way? Curl around, go straight? Perhaps? Maybe that's the wrong way. There's two different levels here. It's like a higher upper level and the lower level. I actually don't remember which level the bank is on. Uh, maybe that door. Nope. Uh, the bank is right here. So perfect. Is that my money? I didn't think Toma noticed both coin purses. He still hasn't processed the implications. You, um, you didn't hurt them, did you? Tuman's visibly concerned. No. Of course not, Tuman. Why would we hurt a friend? This is, this is actually my money, with interest. This turned out way better than expected. You didn't even shake me down or anything. Tuman can hardly believe his good fortune. I guess the only thing left is to give you your reward. At that, Tuman reached into his desk and pulled out a small brooch. Here you go. He put the brooch down on the table. It's not a lot, but something. Thank you. I guess that's an item. Ooh, Kavana's Lucky Watch. Let's see, it's probably a trinket. Level 4. Increase gold acquired by 10%. Eh, it's... It's something, let's just say that. It's a neat collector item. Not really worth anything. At least we came back and, you know, did these missions while we are still relatively low level, I guess. You know, if we continued in the Shadow Isles, we'd probably come back close to level 20. Alright, the Dock Harbors. Do we have any business here? I don't think so. I think we race across. Oh, Bounty Board and perhaps a Party sw Swap. Uh, if we swap Braum out, I'm thinking... I mean, Yasuo is obviously a great choice. We haven't used him in a while because we had to use Misfortune. So maybe Yasuo Yalawi plus Pike? Or otherwise it would be Misfortune, which also would work. Alright, let's get paid. We took out Giffen the Hextech Thief. Be on the lookout for unstable Yodo with a fancy Hextech pistols. This dangerous critter raided my workshop and made off with a pair of unfinished experimental weapon that hits everything. Uh, these pistols are extremely volatile, prone to backfire, will cause major collateral damage. Look for someone to put this squint in his squirt in his place. Last sighted in the Warrens, approach with caution, but make them hurt. So it's just black mark plus cash and a warrior's war, which is really not worth it. Um, I'm interested in hunting this down. Burrow's wishing well, this is where we're going. Level 13 is closer to our level. We'll be picking up a misfortune steel pistol. So I guess that would be kind of our reward. Uh, this, I think, is too far out, and even this is before the Veil Jumper, in my opinion. Uh, teach the Flume. Where is he? I actually don't know where he is, but this increases gold by 30% and it's level 19 with better stats, so this would be much, much better. Perhaps we can attempt a level 18 if we bump into him, because our level is relatively close to that, but the level 24 is just really off-limits. Now, because we did level up, the shop might upgrade. Nope. Well, Frightful, this is upgraded. Oh, we did. the shop did upgrade. 
Increase their physical damage taken by... So we can 20% chance to Thunder. Jade Talon. Handgun. Yeah, level 18 with Ignite. We gotta buy this. The shield as well. This is the dagger we're using. We're not gonna swap these. Higher damage too. 20% on hit to poison target. If Brahm's aggressive, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, we want this. So someone said I can use the C button to compare with what we have. But even then, it's only a stat comparison. I want to see the bonus comparison. But I'm pretty sure this is what we want. Misfortune heals every turn. That's Ari's robe. We don't have Ari yet. But these are all really good. Okay, and we have the cash. So it's like blue essence issues, right? Whether we have because level beyond level 15 to upgrade the enchantment, you need white essence, I think. Or the um, blue essence. Uh, like even more special. Alright, so we'll buy a bunch of equipment actually and swap our party. We're gonna we're gonna swap to Misfortune, because the gun and the armor and everything looks good on her. So let me quickly swap our party. Brom's gonna take a break. Fortune will come and we will juice up our abilities. Tier 3 is available now. Increase heal. The regular smash deals 55 more damage. No, I, I think this is fine. Just extra damage is good. It ready life steals for herself, which is what we want to see. Increase the tentacle spawn. Power lane recovery time, decrease spawn tentacle when getting attacked. That's not too bad. Cleanse when we taunt, overcharge, taunt for extra turn, reduce damage on taunt. Those are the only ones that got the third tier upgrade. From second hit, <gasps> hits a second nearby target. So we can apply concussion on two targets. Well, that is huge. But we, we reduce damage. Okay, we're going to take out this one. Extra turn or less turn, take less damage while taunting. I guess we can do this. Only two turns. We just have to refresh it more often. I don't mind the 12 stack, actually. The stun immune is a thing. I need to get rid of a point somewhere else. That's a good place to put a point. I actually don't do stand behind me very much. Well, this is good too, but it's only 7 damage. I want this. I want the spread. That way, when we apply one target, we can just tag everyone with concussion. I mean, with nice stack, the stun might be beneficial, right? If we're talking about mob killing, then increasing the length of stun, making it easier to stun. No, I'm just going to keep the length, just more damage in case we're fighting a boss. But then this wouldn't make sense because a well, boss have pets. So I guess it still makes some sense. Yeah, we'll live with that. Yasuo's Tempest, Apply Thunder, adds a bleed. I like that. We don't really wind wall. Ooh, projectile defense for the whole party. Push ally forward by a small amount. So not only do we increase the crit of everyone, we also... Basically, we can get it for three turns. So we can stack this three times. That's not bad. Mm, but boosting ally like that is actually pretty decent. We didn't take any of these. Well, I guess it's not that relevant. Alright, the love tap. Apply a thunder. Double the damage of tapped when first applied. Oh, I like that. Good at full health, so it's like the first tap. It makes a lot of sense. We're not building a dodge misfortune, are we? I don't think we are. 
All right, misfortunes items, level 15, but no stats. We're going to buy the level... I'm not sure if we should buy the level 18 stuff, because we might actually pick up better stuff. The shop's always there. It's not Black Mark or anything. Oh, speaking of Black Mark, we're here. It's not gambling boxes. I know we spend everything on the gambling boxes, um, but... Because we leveled up, there's a chance there's new items in that shop as well. So we're going to fly over there real quick. Miss Fortune should lead, actually. She can discover, like, secret routes in dungeons, apparently. That's her special thing. You got any new stuff? Uh, oh, actually. Mercenary coat. But uh, it's not special, aside from the fact that it's... Blue. No. We have that one. Nope. Nope. Nothing new. Okay. Heading to Boro Temple. Or Boro Gato first. Grotto. And the Wishing Well. Kill a Razor Fin. Maybe one day when all the items make sense, where we can have like Evasion, Heal, Misfortune, Life, Steal, Yasuo, or something like that, and then Yulawi doesn't have to show up and go to every fight. Oh, we're going this way? We haven't been, actually. This is a new area for us. Perhaps we need to have her do the talking. Nope. We can just enter. Greetings. Is this what the Freljord is like, Brom? Cozy, everyone friends with each other? Yes. It's a wonderful way to live. <sighs> Brom cannot wait to return. Wonder what it's like growing up that way. Well, it's not her fault she turned out her whatever. Ooh, Freljord ring. That is new. It's level three. Okay, so what level should have we visited? Very beginning of the game? We talked to this elder before. The priestess. Yep. Okay, so we have a visit here, and that's the well. That's a mission spot. But there's a chest here. Elawi, your friends are looking at me funny. They've heard a lot about you, Sarah. What? And they think I'm up to no good? That would be correct. Okay, these are all low-level items. So I expect this to be a low-level fishing area. We'll see. If we can get a chest, we'll know for sure. If it turns out to be like level 4 treasure chest. Okay, two small fish chunk. Obviously the small ones, you know, takes more to trade. Or black mark. We want big fish. No, this might be a rather low fishing area. Let's try to catch this one way out, see what we get. Well, not a lot of fish here. Six more? Yes, we'll know for sure now. Level six. Okay, no need to stay. We'll open it, of course. I think we got a, a flame, a shield, a epic regrowth. I mean, we really wanted those pendants way earlier. They're the one that heal you passively every turn, but they're like level six. A 
brutal priest stops your approach. Truth bearer, you honor us by visiting the well of the mother serpent. I advise caution in visiting as we have some unwelcome guests currently taking up residence there, at least for the time being. He says his voice is calm and gentle, though it seems to be hiding concern. Unwelcome guests? Uh, well, you see, his eyes averted to the ground. It's nothing, really. It's something that will resolve itself in time, as with all matter. He looked up, giving a convincing smile. Please do not trouble yourself with it. Priest, as a truth bearer, I seek to help my people in any way. Ilawi, I know you would say that, but I was hoping you wouldn't. This is, I'm so sorry that this happened. This is my, it's our fault. That's why he says. Finally, he exhales and relaxes. Whatever you want to call them, road agent, bandit thugs, they started harassing visitors to the well. They demand payment just to get to the place of offering. And we'll settle this. Thank you. I do not know much more than that. Look for their leader. He says, this well is supposed to be a place of hope and worship for Pleongis and Boros alike. It deeply saddens me to see the conflict within it. He nods, completing his thought. And there should be a razor fin here as well. So let's take a look. One lore, two lore, long narrow hallway, branches off to way too many spots. We'll see what we find. Orthal. The priestess poked me in the belly and told me to not to fish in the harbor anymore. Going to try my luck out around the Blade Serpent Reef. Be back later tonight unless my arms give out. You were right. I should have stopped eating those sweet fruits. Uh, now new waters await. No go. Ethus Priestess Ethal said I should build our neighborhood a new ship house. Going to sail over to Toro and picked up my brothers to help out. I'm thinking we should put a tile powder on the floor. Can you design it? Very random. It added a new location on our map. Perhaps the harbor that is getting built. He wants to talk. Ilawi, this is quite an honor. My friend and I come from a small village. He motions to a man standing nearby. One too small to receive a visit from truth bearers such as yourself. We are humbled to stand in your presence, he says. Bows his head. We came to offer tribute to Mother Serpent. Many speak of this well as a site where Buru and Pelongi alike came to worship. Or come to worship. I admit we found it hard to believe that Pelongi care enough to pay tribute to Naga Kaburo. Uh, were you able to make the offering? No, a group of Pelangi thugs blocks the path to the bow of the ship. The place where I'm told you make offering. Under threat of violence, you must pay a tribute to them before you can offer one to her. They're stealing her offerings. They put themselves at the same level as God. I will put an end to this. Well, uh, you have a son now. You can't go hunting every day. The tide of your life has changed. You must change the pattern. You will come to the Temple of Waves tomorrow with your family. Dungoli, Dungoli, I, Digoli. I do not think it's wise for you to go after this Naga cult. The Palangi are fools and easily led by false words, but this is not our concern. Let the ocean's clean water wash them away. Yes, Auka, I have many concerns. The dead do not rest well here. The black mist must be drifting nearby. I've ordered a general evacuation back to Boro and Ailta. We are preparing the temple for assault. I suggest you do the same. They got attacked? Thinking of Alta or Ailta. Thanks for your advice and kind word, but I'm just sick of bold water. The priestess here are very meddlesome and bossy. It's almost as bad as when I visited Boro. Of course, I honor Naga Kaburo, but I am from Ilta. We take our time there and enjoy life. Changes happen just as well at a slower and steadier pace, doesn't it? After a hunt, why do I need to rush out and chop down a tree? Or mend some nets right away? Can I rest? When you next uh, when next you summon the great serpent headed towards Elta, can I ride back with you? <laughs> Pretty practical there. road sign reads well of the mother serpent make your offering at the bow of the grace for safe passage grant mercy for our sins mother serpent okay uh, we got some visitors 
A pair of bandits appear to the path on the bridge and stand in the way. Welcome to the great wishing well. Have you come to make an offering to the mother serpent for a small fee? Are you the people I hear about causing trouble? Trouble? Why we're no trouble at all? We just here to help. We guide tours. The path there, uh, this high up, can be dangerous. You wouldn't want something terrible happen to you when trying to make a tribute, do you? Please try to take my money. Have it your way then. Alright, it's been Your a long time since misfortunes back in combat. And we'll see how slow. Oh, let's speed up combat as a whole here as well. I mean, we're gonna start with a love tap. Look at that damage. Uh, we don't want her to have another turn, I guess. Tap him first. Massive damage with the tap. For the beast below. Of course, there's no experience for us at this level, so we didn't even care about how we finish with full health or not. The post battle heal would just done great for us. No extra experience regardless. So a bunch of thugs not raiding any of the money on the pots, but want to fight, you know, travelers. The ship. Oh, level 11. This is actually maybe going to give Pike some experience, I think. I Ankle slicers. Stand, that is I new. Tire, and I don't stop. Heavy damage over 4, heavy damage over 2, only against taunting. Extreme damage. So we kill the crack shot first. Uh, I'll just get the kill, I guess. That's the fighting spirit. Dead and buried. Let's end with a heal. Hmm. This will work. Let's start the party. Get the heal, get the kill without him going I'm again. Someone clean up this mess. Yeah. Only experience for Pike. Five level is the you know threshold. For receiving experiences. Queen the key, huh? All these rooms require a key. Just you? No crew? Compared to decay and despair around the area, this cannon has stood the test of time. Too heavy to move without proper tools. The looter may have ignored it in favor of easier to carry items. Down the side you see a boulder that potentially blocks a walkway path along the cliff. Can we shoot it? Ah. Wait. Oh, they, they bumped into us so that we do get a fight. We don't want this person. Keep him tapped. Almost scratched off. Hmm, if he's ready tapped. This kills him. Guess we can just heal misfortune. Oh, I needed that. Not too hard.
And we also need to find gunpowder. Wait, how come the Raider Fen is brave enough? They will learn or they will die. The truth is here. Wow. You're done. The initial burst is really good on Misfortune. I'm just gonna alt. And this one's over. Drift away. Whopping four experience. Can we take the ladder? No, it's decoration. I want to fight a bunch of you. More. So the Buru believe that people don't own their souls, right? Indeed. Our souls belong to Nagakaboros, and she can take them back if we are not using them well. I wonder if she's trying to take mine back. I think you are using yours quite well. So many fools, so little time. Yeah, we'll kill the crack shots first. Greater than 75% health does more. Seeing another turn. He's boosting himself. Mm. Let's just do speed. Needs a lot more of those fights if he wants to level up. And once you level up, I think. Oh, they'll run away like this. There's a 10, there's the 11. So the, the, the 11 still wants to hit me. Thunder Crab. It's an alpha. Ooh. On kills, we have faster recovery, and that worked really well. I'll get you back. We're going after him, anyways. Oh, he killed him. Uh, I killed him right before misfortune, though. Mm, this will be my best attack here. Oh, the evasion kicked in actually for once. Oh. 
bullseye. Another notch on my gun. Oh, we can just all and finish this. Pike's gonna need a lot of level ups. This is a nice place. A lot of heart. You should be proud, Dilawi. I am. Someday you should come to the Freljord. The Avarosans have excellent hospitality. Oh, it's three of five. This rock is blocking. This is the the rock that the gunpowder will blow up. So we need to find some sort of gunpowder. We missed on lore over here. Oh, yeah, we did. Two o five. I don't think we've been here. Oh, this is how we came out. I lied. Oh, we got some captain figures here. Lady. <laughs> People should be able to pay respect to Nagakapura without interference. Those who make pilgrims here don't owe you anything. Remove your men or remove them. You know, I can't do that. If I leave here, I'm good as dead anyways. I will give you a choice. Let's see what the Mother Serpent herself thinks of your behavior as a test. And if I fail, you die. What is the test? You're worthy or not worthy? It's simple. It's the namesake of this place. The test of Nagakaburo. This is the well of the Mother Serpent. Naga Kaburo, you killed my man coming here. Killing me would be easy for you. I don't have a choice, do I? No, you don't. Fine then, let's get this over with with Truth Bearer. Stand before me and let your true self be revealed. No, it burns. Uh, he's down. Unworthy. You work for her, right? Yes. To steal money from those who seek to praise the goddess, this is true corruption. Leave here, never return. Mercy, thank you, thank you. Please just leave us alone. Alright, we scared them off. Another thank you. They're weak and scared. With or without my intervention, they would have met their end. But they have intel. This is where a captain would study map. Right. And there's a pouch. Take the pouch. Gunpowder. Yes, we got the gunpowder. Guess this pulley system's just for decoration. We gotta go blow up a rock. High above Baron's Peak area. Actually, we're not even in Baron's Peak. We're in Burrow. Uh, five of five. We're missing one and two. I mean, at least none of them are really a match for us. Exhibit A. is low. 
Actually, I just need to kill him to heal Pike. The truth is here. All right, that worked. Face truth. I should have make it rain. Let's try it. I'm gonna play a little RNG game. Little crab died. And that's it. Hmm, how do we get into this room? Wait, this is how we came. Ah, we don't have problem with us. Is there a place where I can swap teams? We missed another one. That's the bounty boss. Mr. Level 13, Razorfin Helmet. Let's see what abilities this thing has. 5,000 health. Consume an ally to heal himself based on remaining health. Moderate damage. So he's going to eat his companion. Deals light damage for each companion. Inflict bleed. True damage over time. Can summon to recruit packs. Alright. No big deal. We're going to just focus fire you down. Apply us. Many new debuff as we can on you. Love tap you. You're still over 75%. Everyone's faster. So no one's faster. Still not going with taunt. He ate his own pet again for the full heal. Very annoying. We do have executioner on us right now. He does have bleed. I want the crit first actually. I've been waiting for this. I think he's already tapped. Wait, his bleed wore off? I've got my sights on you. Huh, let's reapply. Yeah, summon. I love it when you summon. We're just gonna hit the big one. I think he could eat this one right now, but would he? I don't think so, since it's too early for that. I don't think he's tapped anymore. Hmm, maybe he was. How much can he heal from eating a warp rat? We're gonna. Mm. Yeah, this way we'll heal Misfortune up. Good amount of damage. He is definitely tapped. He's definitely bleeding. We don't have tentacles right now. We have well, we have bleed stack. Okay, then do a favor for the team. Under. 
That's it. Now we fight the easy stuff. Dead and buried. I am the deep. Hopefully we kill the little one with 400 health. Yep. Okay, at least we got that done. That's a lot of damage. Fortune favors the bold. Right, so we took him down. That wasn't too hard. We got the final level up. Tier 3 on the first groups on the top. We'll take a look at those. Ooh, Ripper's Claw. Sounds like a... A weapon. Indeed it is. Level 14? No, we're all the way at 17 already. Let's see what we can do with our fancy dagger. 40% chance to her stealth. I actually like that. Extra turn? I actually don't have... That many chances to use that. Extra turn will be really cool. Crit will give us... Could give us stuff like poison, I think. More stealth. Wonder how we get there. Hmm, strange area. Oh, maybe from that area, maybe Brahms Poro goes there to pick things up. And that's about it. This lore. How do we miss it? Guess we missed a lot of stuff. Oh. Hold on. We'll come back to this. The bow of this maroon ship serves a place of pilgrims who wish to make an offering tilth to the ever present serpent mother. Offer a tilth. Huh. Can Pike? Wait, wait. Doesn't it look like our blade can actually hit that? Apparently not. We'll figure out who needs to interact with the birds, eggs. Ah, the locked doors. Okay, I mean... That's not it. Wait. They want us to go this way. No. It doesn't curl down. How do we go down? We came this way. I also didn't see that. Oh, this might be... wait. This is just a dead end. A little bit lost. 
I'm not gonna lie. Right, there's there's no there's a path here, but it doesn't lead it doesn't turn. This is a one way staircase. Right? When we go here, we end up back in this cave, and that's that's a Braum thing. We wanna go there. Maybe the bottom door? We do have gunpowder now, so at least we can open up that area, but there's no key for this. So that's why we can't get that one. Let's blow up the gunpowder for now. You empty the gunpowder from the pouch found in Captain's Quarter into the cannon. The cannon is now primed for use. I don't... Uh... We got the rock. Now what if we... point it to the right? There's eggs. Aiming for this. Oh, more right and down. Something fell from that seagull's net you shot cruelly. It tumbled into the turret water below. Maybe we'll get an angry bird come at us. I mean, it was glittering. We had to shoot it. Wait, wait. I think I went the wrong way. Unless... This is what we missed. The first one. The lusty legend of Hay Harway. Hay ducked into a tiny alleyway off mainstream Crescent. Her heart thudding her heart. Not from her close call with the Luxy... Hiltvian casino security forces, but from the encounter with that mysterious stranger across the card table, those green eyes hidden behind the ice feather mask had blinked amusingly whenever Hayes raised the stake, easy to do when playing with a pickpocket purse, of course. And finally, the last time Hayes raised those red lips had parted in a smile. Rather than the stack of chip, the opponent slid a single scrape of paper into the center of the table. Hayes was a gambler. She couldn't resist. Call, she would say, and the dealer flipped the cards. She would won, but there was barely a moment to celebrate before the guards were on her. She slipped them, of course, but not without one thing. With trembling hand, she unfolded a piece of paper addressed in the clan district. Squawled beneath it, do come, Hayes grinned. There was some sort of, oh, we missed it because we were staring at the big ship before we went in. Alright, so at least that cleared that. Now, do we have, say, all the stories here? We are in... Right, the second one. The next evening, Haste made her way through the lush and quiet street of Clan District. Zionite, she heard one finely dressed pass by her hissed. An afternoon sojourn to the dressmaker's quarter, courtesy of a glass merchant's loose watch purse. So she's a pickpocket, saw her swap tonic and legging for a simple burgundy dress, chosen mostly for its ample pocket space, only she scuffled boots betrayed her origins. The dress turned out to be a sprawling house directly across from Geopara Mansion. Was this a trap, he wondered, but she had to know. Heart in her throat, she approached the guard. I've been invited, but before she could continue, he waved her through the massive oak door into the entrance hall. A woman swift in... A gown of beaded emerald dress descended the marble staircase. I've been wondering when you would turn up, the stranger said. 
Her lush lip curled upward. Would you like a bite? You must be famished. The clink of cutlery punctuated the silence as the two women regarded each other. Hayes' curiosity at last overcame her stubbornness and she spoke. I don't even know your name. Her companion grinned, nor do I yours. The green-eyed woman paused as she surveyed Hayes. Selenia. Hayes, I suppose you weren't the one who called the guards on me, Selenia shook her head. And ruined our game. By the gates. No, more wine, my dear. We're missing four. We'll find it and we'll come back to this. And speaking of coming back, I think this is a good place to end. Decent, I guess. We're missing Brom in the party. So we might swap out Misfortune, it seems, just so that we can pick up this chest to leave nothing behind here. And then with the popped rock, we can visit this area here afterward to see uh, what area opens up. I think we will still need Ilawi for a good portion of this, so we'll keep her, especially if we're going to end up praying to Naga Kaboro. So we'll figure things out and come back here next time. Until then, bye!